I can't even hold up what I have going on this time. Normally I'll hold up a bag, but I have a bag plus a bucket of things. And the last time I filmed an empties was 10 months ago. It was back in December. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa in Minnesota. Yes, I've been away for a while. Uh, it's been two months since I filmed my last video. Uh, before that, it was three months, and then I have filmed, I think, four times back in December of 2018. So I've had a pretty uh, sporadic showing since then. Let me let you guys know a little bit of what's been going on. Uh, you guys know I deal with uh, a severe gluten intolerance, and along came with that was uh, anxiety, I dealt with depression, and I dealt with that a lot during the winter. My channel name is Melissa in Minnesota. I live in the northern part of Minnesota where it stays very cold and very snowy and very gloomy. I'm looking out the window now because we've already had snow and it's already gloomy and cold outside. But for long periods of time, usually we will get first snow sometime in October and it usually doesn't thaw out and uh, really get nice until April and May we start experiencing warmer temperatures and that's usually where the weekend I start saying it's spring here and we don't usually plant until after Mother's Day sometime in June so you guys can see there is a long extended period of very gloomy weather and for someone like me if you've heard me mention in my past if you've been following me for any a certain amount of time you know that I'm originally a southern girl and so yeah the first year that I moved up here was in 90 uh, after I met my husband and he is originally from Minnesota we moved up and um, I moved up in July and then had our first winter and I literally remember asking him and he remembers me asking where's the sun when's the sun come out and it was very gloomy but I did not have a severe issue like I do now until uh, right around 2013 a gluten issue that came along with vitamin deficiencies uh, my body has a hard time uh, with uh, really not becoming depressed that comes with anxiety and one thing just kind of topples on uh, one another and that's what happened this past winter and I really had to focus on on getting myself healthy instead of um, you know, you can't sit in front of a camera and act happy when you're not happy. So uh, there were just some uh, personal things that I had to go through. We'll see how this winter goes. And I'm kind of, I've got a step process that I'm going to kind of help out uh, myself and family is helping. And so we'll see how things progress this winter. And I, you know, some of you guys may ex be experiencing the same thing. So I thought just as with the gluten um, issue, that's why I started this channel was to really help uh, focus on that and share information. And for me shutting down, I really, um, that was not the thing that I should have done. Looking back, you're like, that's really not how I should have handled that issue. Just kind of uh, being more vocal about it would probably have helped. That's kind of what I'm going to try to do this season. If you, any of you guys are experiencing the same thing, uh, leave a comment down below. You can open up a discussion and, and, uh, maybe help each other out. But, uh, that's kind of that a little briefly on that uh, situation and, uh, another thing that I really want to focus on, if you guys have, um, heard me say, I'm not sponsored on this channel. I buy things of my own money and I do have uh, one affiliate that I work with and I do receive product. But I purchased everyone, pretty much every one of their eyeshadows. I same thing with their lipsticks. And I think there was only a handful that I did not purchase uh, from them before I even uh, asked to be an affiliate with you them. You guys so. can, uh, by clicking on those links and using those, it's no extra cost to you guys. And I hope you know that. And it, in the long run, since I am uh, buying the products myself, it, it really does help keep this channel going. Let's just say that when you're buying things. And so that's something I really had to uh, take a focus back and and really step back and say, okay, I lead a, a pretty much a mon minimalistic or I wish to lead a minimalistic lifestyle. I don't want to have a lot of excess around me. And that's what uh, this break was and why I have so many empties. Now remember, this is not just me. This is four members in my household using these products and of things that I didn't like and I just could not finish using. And you will see that or things that I use, but I want to find another product because I really just did not like them. So I'm really trying to focus on things that use less packaging. Um, there's a lot of plastic in here. So if you guys know of any brands that are gluten-free that have a low waste or a zero waste product, 
uh, things that maybe I don't mention in here, I would really appreciate if you guys would leave that in the comment for me below and I can check into that. And there is only so much space that I can put products, so I may end up making a blog post and then putting all the links for these products in that blog post. So uh, that information will be down below. If you don't see a list of products, you'll know that I did the blog post and then I'll have a link to that. A lot of these products that I'm using are cruelty-free and vegan, so um, just so you guys know, everything is gluten-free. Uh, so if you have not followed me for a while, you will, um, I just want to make that a point. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started with the empties, which I'm looking over here because there is a mountain of them. So the first item that I have is a uh, Nature's Gate uh, Cream de Mint or Cream de Peppermint. And I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. This is the first product that I have. There's quite a few toothpaste. Remember, 10 months worth here, and they're four family members. So I really like this. It was carrageenan free. It is a certified gluten-free product, and this is one of my favorites, and I would definitely repurchase that. Uh, one that my husband and boys like is the Desert Essence. This is the tea tree oil and neem toothpaste. Uh, both of these fluoride-free and gluten-free, and this is the Winter Green. And then there is a Nature's Gate whitening gel. Um, this does not, I don't notice it doing any uh, really advanced whitening, but it just kind of, I drink a lot of coffee or tea, and it cut, does kind of cut back on the discoloration of the teeth. Um, so I would recommend this, but it's not one of those things like you're going to, it's like Optimal White, like the brand that's on the shelf that is not gluten-free, but this um, is one that I would trust and use. Uh, this is another of the Nature's Gate whitening gel, so that's two that we went through. Uh, let's see, I have another whitening gel, so that was three. Another tooth product is the Now Solution Xyla White. Uh, again, this is not one, it may help, but it doesn't really do any optimal whitening. This is a refreshment mouthwash, fluoride free, SLS free, gluten free, paraben free, naturally freshens breath and cleans teeth and gums. And, so, and this is a sort of certified organic and vegan product. So yes, definitely re recommend this. I am trying out a different one right now and I can't remember off the, um, cuff what that is but I did find it in Target so uh, I can link that and let you guys know I have a core daily one I thought I had another one of these and there may be a yes there is another one that's popping up uh, they reformulate or rechange the package not the formulation at all but uh, the country life uh, this is one bottle that I had, and this is a two-month supply, and so this is what the bottles look like now. Uh, I am using a different brand of vitamin now for 40 plus, because I will say I just turned 47 in November, <laughs> so um, yeah, this doesn't have an age on it. It just says for women. But uh, they are certified gluten-free vitamins, so if you're looking for that, and they're dairy-free, which I do have a dairy intolerance as well. Um, so I did finish up two of these within uh, the time frame that I'm talking about and working on another one at, at the moment. I finished up a Garden of Life. This is a doctor formulated probiotics, uh, one daily women's 50 billion guarantee. I have one of these, um, let's see, this was, does it say 30? Yeah, 30 capsules, so this was a 30 day. I have one now and then I am switching over from this brand to another one because I have done some studies on it and it doesn't, probiotics are not effective if they don't reach uh, your mouth to your intestines. And this one, I couldn't find any guarantee that that happens. I did find another one and it's guaranteed, so they say, to reach from mouth to intestines and um, not kill all the bacteria in the process. But I'll see if it makes any difference. That's another one of the things when I was talking about depression and anxiety. Um, a lot of times your gut flora will depend on how you're doing as far as health wise. It's gut affects brain affects mood. And so that's one of the things that I am testing out and I want to see how that works out through the winter months here. Now I do have, and I'll show you guys, I picked this up on target.com. This is just a little face shaver for peach fuzz. So when you get a little hair over your upper lip or maybe around um, your jawline or maybe underneath because 47, you know, starts to... <laughs> Hair tends to grow where you don't want it to grow. But these are the little blades that come with it that you pick up, and they're two in a pack. And uh, so, yeah, this is one that I have used and wanted to show you guys what it looks like. But you pop these on top of this, and it does have a little switch right here. It runs on a battery. Actually, in 10 months, I have another box here. So, yes, I've used up, used up four within the last 
maybe 10 months or so. It's just a great product to have for little touch-ups. Okay, natural feminine products. Uh, Rayel Organic Cotton Cover Pads. These are in the petite size. Really like this. They are made without fragrance, chlorine, pesticides, artificial dyes, thick adhesive. Why can't I say that word? Toxic adhesives. There we go. Acetone. <laughs> oh boy. I've been filming way too long. Okay. Styrene's chloroform, uh, chloral methane. See, this is things. Really? Do your products have this stuff in it? This does not. Oh my gosh. Um, oh gosh. Uh, what did I say? Chloroform, chloral methane, chloral ethane. GMOs, rayon, polyester, and other toxic ingredients. I mean, seriously. Who made with responsibly sourced certified organic cotton from Texas. FDA registered, um, and it's organic 100%. Chlorine-free, fragrance-free. So, yeah, obviously the box is like this. There's 14 in them. Super absorbent core. Maximum airflow, leak locker technology, so you guys can see the packaging on the back if you want to pause that. They have different sizes, so here's the one right here. Uh, I ordered this off of Target.com, um, but yeah, it has the sizes right here uh, based on what you need for your protection, but uh, highly recommend those, really like those. Okay, Flamingo is the razor brand that I thought I would try. <sighs> Oh, I am just, oh. <laughs> okay, disposable razors, you use them a couple times, and, you know, I can use a disposable razor. I use men's razors because they last longer. Um, the Gillette, I can't even think of what it is, it's a green one. My husband uses it. I use those. It can last me a week and a half. I shave my legs every day or every other day, usually every day, because I'm just, I don't know things. I don't like to feel stubble. So I picked up one of these, thinking, okay, this is great. I just have the razor. All I have to do is replace this part. This lasts me like a couple shaves, less than a week, and it's like, I don't know. This I was shaving like every day, and it lasted me like less than a week. It's just not a close shave whatsoever. I thought I was doing good, because I'm buying... You know this part right here just replacing this but this is a lot of plastic I mean this is bulky oh, I don't know I mean seriously I mean that's pretty bulky another thing is the darn head kept popping off so it's like the plastic part that's because this is not metal this is plastic or some I don't know fancy plastic but this kept detaching and I'm like I'm gonna cut my leg here and have a major problem so I'm looking for another razor. I mean, this is, I, I'm not even buying replacement blades for this. I feel like this is a total waste of money. Um, I can't remember how much this was. I can put that. Um, so yeah, I've used one of these. I have the other razor. I just purchased this, so this is not that old. Um, but yeah, I'm not happy with this. I thought Flamingo, okay, we'll try this. And I don't know, I was thinking the Dilly Club, but really, it's about the same as this. I'm looking into other options right now to try to figure out what I can use. I want something that's low waste, zero waste, and this is just not doing it for me. So, not happy with that product at all. But Schmidt's deodorant sold out to Unilever. Don't care for them. I don't think they're gluten-free anymore. This was the last one that my son had, um, so that one's gone. Uh, EO. Uh, love the cream deodorant. I have one. Um, I like Meow Meow Tweets. That's another deodorant that I love. I'll get into the into a video, the deodorants that I use now, let you guys know how effective they are. But this is definitely one of those things that I would repurchase. This is in the box. It is cruelty-free, certified gluten-free, certified B Corp, um, and recyclable. Uh, these are have baking soda in them and it's like one two three four fifth um down i have a baking soda sensitivity but i have no issue with de these deodorants whatsoever maybe because it's not a first or a second ingredient um it does say uh effectively controls odors naturally with gentle ingredients like baking soda cassava root tapioca uh coconut butter honeysuckle and essential oils uh, there's no uh, parabens, phthalates, aluminum, synthetic fragrances. And so I have not had any 
any problem with these. Vetiver and Yang Yang really like the scent and the Mandarin Lime is one of my favorites. I have this one in my bathroom right now. Um, not this one, this is empty, but another one and I really do love those products. You can find these at Target and uh, Walmart as well and natural food stores uh, if you're looking for those. Uh, California Baby, this is the Tea Tree and Lavender Shampoo and Body Wash. This is tear-free, no sulfates, uh, natural cleansers, pansy flower extract. I really like this product, and it also is for hair, face, and body. I There's a hair, sorry, <laughs> hair floating around. I love this product for the winter time because it really does help get rid of the flakiness, not only on my hairline, uh, which I usually tend to get a little bit of flakiness here because my face gets really dry in the winter. And I like this as a face wash because it really helps with that. So I do have one of these in my backup all ready to go for this winter. So yeah, I don't want to be without this. And this is a really great product. Uh, California Baby, this was a uh, product that was seen, uh, I believe this was seen in my last the haul video. Uh, this is the Overtired and Cranky Bubble Bath. My son really <laughs> likes this uh, for after soccer practice or, you know, because it can get really grueling as far as all the drills that they do. And this was one of his things that he really liked to use. The Everyone uh, Baby Wash, this is one of the my target local stores don't really carry these things and so this is one of the things one of the few things that i found on a cartwheel it's called something else now instead of cartwheel but at target this was the gentle calendula and oat i found this when i was experiencing dry skin during the winter i will admit this is not yeah not one of my favorite scents i just i don't know i don't know but it was hypoallergenic hypoallergenic, non-GMO, gluten-free, cruelty-free, synthetic, fragrance-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, sulfate -free, and tear-free. If you have a baby or a young child, this would be great. If you like the scent, it would be great. It's not one of my favorite where I, it, I have to have it. I have to have a restock. It's not one of those for me. It's one of those iffy, I will say, scents for me. There is an Everyone Kids Soap 3-in-1 uh, Soap Body Wash and Bubble Bath. This is a Tropical Coconut Twist. This was a really one of my favorite scents. Um, it's okay. It is a fruity tropical smell. It smells a little bit like coconut and tangerine. A little bit of a lime scent. I don't know if exactly that's the essential oils that they have. It says limonene. Uh, so it does have some of a citrus uh, smell to it, but it is a certified gluten-free product. I really like this brand. Holding off on some of the things with plastic. They do make these in, I think, a 32 ounce. So if you, this is a 16 fluid ounce. So if you wanted to refill this and have less plastic, that's an option. The Orange Squeeze, this was definitely not one of my favorite products. And I do have some leaking product on this. But it's okay. It smells like... I don't know, it's almost like an orange concentrate, not really like fresh squeezed orange juice. See, an orangey drink, um, like, oh, was it Squirt? What's the orange drink? Like the soft drink? That's kind of what it smells like. So I don't know, if you like that scent, it's okay. It wasn't really a favorite within my household, and this was another um, 16 fluid ounces. <laughs> There's a lot of bath products, but this is a three-in-one, so a shampoo, body wash, and bubble bath. So we were using quite a bit of that. We had clean family. <laughs> Uh, this is a 32 ounce. This is my favorite scent by everyone. This is in the coconut and lemon. Absolutely love this. This is, since I went gluten-free in 2013, actually it's 2012, but 2013 was when I was diagnosed. This is one of the products that I love and have found. This is, I've had multiple, multiple ones of these throughout all these years and it is one of the things that i keep restocking i do not have a restock of this in my pantry now I'm trying to cut down a little bit of things um for product wise and plastic wise and so i think i'm gonna try to hold off on this for a while this is a certified gluten-free products desert essence i love their shampoos. Their shampoos are fabulous. Uh, I would repurchase them. Highly recommend them. This was in the green apple and ginger body wash. I currently have the uh, shampoo and the conditioner. This is a fabulous scent. Would repurchase this. This was one of my favorite scents by them. Uh, the only one that I did not like was the grape. That was too too perfumey, too floral for me for some reason. And it was just, um, I could not handle that one. That's one that I ended up using maybe once or twice and then having to find it another home. One of the brands that I am getting into, absolutely love it. This pump is a different pump. Um, 
then what came with this it was uh, I got this my local Target does not carry it I have to order it online from Target this is the Piercy brand the pump was broken when I got it so I had to put a new pump on it and it had leaked out uh, somewhat when I got it uh, this is the natural children's body wash this is plant derived non-toxic sulfate free this was in the watermelon and sea salt scent this is an Austin Texas product this was a really, it has a sweet scent, so I liked it in the summer. Um, it's not one of those things that I would use all the time, but I love that it was no sulfates. Um, it was gluten, paraben, SLS, SLES, animal byproducts, uh, petrochemicals, perfume, dye, uh, phthalates, or harsh chemical free. <laughs> it's made with pink Himalayan sea salt. It's hypoallergenic pH balance formula. Uh, for growing children. Uh, it had soothing, soothing coconut cleansers and nourishing vegetable moisturizers. It was uh, naturally derived, hypoallergenic, non-toxic, vegan, gluten-free, and biodegradable, uh, certified cruelty-free, made in the U.S. Obviously, I mentioned Texas. I would uh, purchase more from this brand. Uh, some of their things are a little more heavily scented than I want. This was not one. Um, the mint, it's something mint. Uh, sea salt mint I think or cucumber mint I have that in my bathroom right now it is a repurchase so I may have the uh, bottle in here I'm not sure if I do or not I highly recommend that scent absolutely love it and that is one that I will restock on it is a foaming hand wash they do carry it in the gel hand wash as well and like the size which is a 12 ounce would recommend that scent I would purchase more of these products and they do have laundry a stain and some laundry soap I want to try those so uh, yes highly recommend this and would repurchase this uh, throughout this 10 months I've gone through a lot of skin care the EO hydrating facial moisturizer with snow algae and uh, Subaki I finished up one of these this was a two ounce I've had this for quite a while did manage to finish it up I am currently using uh, root pretty uh, moisturizer and I really like that and that's one that I will go toward this is not a bad product I really liked it I'm just trying different things at this time I have an everyone balance conditioner this is again a GMO free product certified gluten free this was made with tea tree and chamomile it's sulfate free for smooth and shiny hair this was an okay product I do prefer the desert essence better uh, this is a 20 ounce bottle and, and Target a lot of places carry this I believe they're carried in Walmart uh, a lot of these things though like I mentioned I have to order off of Vitacost or off of Target online but uh, this was a product for dry itchy scalp and oily hair um, it does have uh, tea tree and citrus with quinoa protein it's for smoother and shinier hair as I mentioned uh, this is a great product but I found other things that I really like a lot better this is something my husband and uh, boys love this is the everyman jack body wash and shower gel this is our compromise because uh, my older son likes the I'm gonna say perfumey products but um, I want something that's cleaner I want something that's gluten-free and something that has a little less of the chemicals. 97% plant-derived. Uh, this is 100% um, or 90% uh, recycled content. Uh, it is cruelty-free. There's non-GMOs. It's gluten-free. And it does have less of the chemicals that are in here. It does say uh, fragrance parfum on the back. So that part I'm not crazy about. Personally, I wouldn't buy anything or I try not to buy anything unless I can verify that that fragrance comes from essential oils but this is like I said a compromise it does have no parabens or phthalates in it so for a teen boy if we can compromise on something then I will uh, definitely do that this is in the cedar wood they currently have sandalwood in the shower now and I would repurchase this just because like I said it's probably not the best but it is working toward better there is another this is the everyman jack uh, body wash and shower gel this is in the citrus scent which is really strong I noticed that after my uh, boys showered and they opened the shower door they're in the hall bathroom and it really was a very overwhelming so we went through two of these not crazy about the citrus too perfumey for us or for me anyway and uh, they like the sandalwood and the cedarwood better so that's what we're going to repurchase you man jack this is a two-in-one daily shampoo and conditioner for scalp and hair and I don't even know what scent this was see that on oh yes citrus right on the back uh, my son didn't care for this my older son is the one that definitely used this uh, it he said that it made his hair grease he 
has a lot of hair like I do, but fine hair, and this was not one of his favorite uh, products at all. So uh, we're just going to be picking up either like the uh, shower gel or they do make a just a shampoo, picking up that and not the combination of that. This, again, this is not one of the favorite scents of, um, you know, in our household. So yeah. The Everyone Lotion, this is made with plant extracts. It's pure coconut oil, three-in-one hand, face, and body. This is an unscented. This went bad. Um, I don't know. It just smells off to me. This was, I like the formula of this, and it's really good. I love the lemon. The lemon is absolutely wonderful. My husband actually has claimed that one, and I'm using the Desert Essence Lemon. That's the one that I really like. And so um, this is one of those things that in, from the time that it starts getting cold, so usually uh, September, end of September into October is when I start applying moisturizer. You know, like I said, when we thaw out in May or April, May, sometime around there, honestly. And so, yeah, this is one of those things that I really depend on. And this sinks in. You can actually feel it in your skin. One of the products that I have found, I love Desert Essence. They have an exfoliating Italian lemon soap bar. Obviously, soap has already been used, but I want to keep this. This is recyclable paper. This is all I have left. This is, you know, no plastic, nothing like that. Low waste. Picked up a peppermint, one of these. My husband has that down in his bathroom now. Really like products like this. Uh, bar soap is good. Universal face, body. Um, my husband actually has one uh, from Fiji in his shower that is just nothing but coconut oil. He likes that for his hair, so he uses that as a shampoo bar. And so, yeah, again, it came in paper, or I think it was like a, I might have that. In the box, uh, it has one ingredient, traditional saponified raw cold pressed organic coconut oil. That's the only ingredient that's in there. This is fragrance free face and body soap again my husband uses this as a shampoo bar it's infused with raw coconut oil because that's all there is in here would be repurchasing this uh, it's cruelty free non-gmo vegan so yeah love things like this uh there is an everyone hand soap this is the lime coconut and strawberries had this in my boys in the hallway bathroom uh, this is a good uh, smelling product. I liked it for the summertime months because it was fresh and clean. They liked it. Uh, they don't really have a preference unless there's something, a scent that they really, really don't like. And so, yeah. <laughs> Everyone soap. This was in the unscented. I had... Uh, <laughs> I kind of wanted something different in my bathroom. I just reversed the label, peeled it off, and turned it around so it was just white. So it was like an unbrand brand. And so, yeah, this was great. I like this in the wintertime. I got this because I wanted something with unscented because last winter I was just battling extremely dry skin. And I needed something that was fragrance-free and just natural, pure um, nothing with harsh, um, not that they have harsh uh, essential oils in it, but I just, I wanted something that was more pure. Uh, this is the Nourish Organic Face uh, Cleanser. Really like this product, not as a face cleanser. It does work as a face cleanser, but it has aloe vera, cucumber, and watercress in it. Uh, it's fragrance-free formula, gently washes away impurities without drying or irritating. It's a moisturizing cream for face and I use it in a completely different way but I am using a uh, everyone mint lotion as a I'm kind of going through my stash and I don't have a lot after 10 months of things but just I'm finding things that work out really well things that I want to replenish and some of these things I'm just kind of trying different things and letting go uh, this is the desert essence fragrance free conditioner uh, this turned it does not smell good now yeah, I don't know. It almost has like an almond scent, but it's supposed to be fragrance free. So go figure. This is three quarters full. Um, yeah, definitely more than half. And so I'm letting this go. So that's that's a product that I didn't care for. And I'm not going to repurchase this anymore. So as I mentioned, I really like the root, the pretty hair day, the conditioner and the shampoo. And that's what I'm using right now. There's an everyone baby bath. This is a chamomile lavender. I'm just so over the lavender kick. Um, I, this did not smell. I just didn't care for the smell. I don't know if it smelled like... You know how like, you buy like cheap bubble gum? I mean, if it's supposed to be chamomile and lavender, to me it doesn't smell like that. I, I don't care for this scent at all. So uh, the Derma E, this is a scalp relief shampoo. I picked this up for my husband. This is uh, 
It's supposed to be good for uh, dry, irritated scalps. He didn't care for it, didn't really work for him. So, okay, here's one of the products that I said I really love, the brand Puracy. Highly recommend this brand if you can find it. A lot of Target stores are starting to carry this now. Uh, online is where I have to find it, but this is Cucumber Mint. That's the scent. Foaming bottle, uh, the hand wash. Love this. Have one um, in my bathroom right now, and I will continue to repurchase this scent because I really, really like it. So Desert Essence Italian Lemon Shampoo. Really love this. This is great for if you want shiny hair. I love the conditioner in this. I think I still have a little bit of that left, and that's um, kind of those products that I'm trying to finish. Using that uh, would repurchase this, but I'm using other things instead. So until I finish things, I'm trying not to repurchase other things. And so, yeah, this is one of those that I will definitely repurchase or recommend. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this part of the video and we'll continue on with the next one and show a little bit more of the products. I hope you're having a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day, and I will see you in part two. So take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.